In this exercise, we're going to create a two-view mechanical drawing using some basic objects like lines, circles, rectangles, and polygons. Before we begin, let's talk a little bit about how the drawing is set up. So you'll notice that the grid is currently displayed. As well, you'll notice that when I start the rectangle command, the cursor will snap to the specific grid settings. So this is just going to make it a little bit quicker for me to draw at a predefined increment. So the first thing that I'm going to do is select the rectangle tool on the draw toolbar. I'll snap to this node and we'll drag a rectangle up so that it is four units by six units. Click that point. The next thing we'll do is just press spacebar to repeat the command. And again, selecting the point near the node here on the lower right hand section of the screen. And we'll go ahead and drag a six unit by one unit rectangle. Next, let's use the line tool. And again, snapping to the end point of the existing rectangle, I want to drag a line out to be three units by one unit. And then connecting back to the original rectangle. Next, I'm going to turn off my entity snaps and I'm going to draw another line, this time lining it up with the side view, right clicking to exit the command. Next thing that I want to do is start the circle center radius command and we'll just drag out a couple of circles at a half inch radius. Again, pressing the space bar to repeat the command dragging it out. Let's then go ahead and create a polygon representing the hex head bolt. And I want to choose the polygon center side. The first thing that we need to do is set the number of sides for the polygon. So in this case, I want to use six sides representing a hex head bolt. We'll go ahead and select that center point and the outside of the circle and then press spacebar to repeat the command again accepting the default of six sides and selecting the center point and radius and now you can see we've got the plan view of our hex head bolts then we'll simply use a line command and represent those bolts from a side view and once more using the line command creates that view. And then finally, let's go ahead and create the gusset at one inch by two inches. And then repeat the process for the side view, creating it at 45 degrees. And that completes the basic front and side views of our mechanical drawing.